Hello everybody. So today I found another video that I wanted to react to except this time it's actually you know science and technology related and uh, I took a great interest in this video since I, I've grown up on a farm, I work on a farm and I use John Deere equipment on a regular basis but basically what's happened is John Deere at least I think it's like a French division of John Deere or something because the video is in French they've created an electric tractor it's powered by this massive battery it's it's crazy like you can just use it with all sorts of regular equipment and being somebody that's used John Deere equipment all their life I just wanted to uh, look at the video you know see see how exactly this thing's gonna work and whether this would be a viable thing or not so one thing to know about John Deere is that their older tractors and equipment and stuff is really good uh, there's a lot of I mean if you live in the country you see a lot of old John Deere tractors you know planters all kinds of things all over the place because all of them are still good they're just that reliable but uh, John Deere's new products you know their new tractors their new equipment whatever it's all utter crap. John Deere is like the apple of tractors they you know their products break down all the time and then you gotta have some proprietary technician come out just to fix the freaking thing and it's gotten really annoying and you know since their older products weren't like that it's just really weird to have to deal with but anyways this is a video of John Deere's new electric tractor it's gonna be really interesting to see how this thing uh, how this thing works so let's get right into it this is the article right here. It's an article on The Verge. This is where I originally found it. And uh, it is called the John Deere CSAM Tractor. Uh, it looks very interesting. And uh, let's check out some uh, things here. Until then, we only knew a few things about the CSAM Tractor. It's Jalapenic... I don't know. I've never known how to pronounce that. Points out it has an absolutely massive 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. Bigger than what you can find on any Tesla. It will supposedly have a range around 55 kilometers, 34 miles. So basically the fields out here, you won't be able to get crap done on it. And it takes about three hours to charge. I mean, that's not bad. It's also loud. I mean, all tractors are loud. But this one is loud in a totally different way. We've only got a few seconds of natural audio in this video. But those clips are a lot to make the CSAM sound like a giant turbine strapped to it. Okay. Apparently, uh, the the noise is like the giant electric motor. I think it operates somehow like it's got this giant motor, the electric motor in it, but then it also has a transmission all in it. I believe that's how it works. I mean, that would be the best way to make it work. But uh, let's go ahead and see here. So this is my first time seeing the video myself. Uh, the whole thing's in French, so I don't really know how exactly everything is on here. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna see anyways. Okay, to begin with, it does sound like a turbine. That's that's just bad. That's just that's terrible. And what what is with the like? The, it looks like they literally painted on fake vents on the side. Just to make it look like it had an engine there. I don't know what this big green thing is. Uh, regular John Deere's don't have that. Uh, maybe that's just where some special electrical component is stored or something. It's hard to tell. Yes, I have an idea. What would you like to do? I would like to build an electric tractor. You know it's not going to work. We gonna make it work. Oh look at these fancy bar graphs and gauges and things on a computer running Windows XP. Yes, I think this is a good idea. How about we approve it? Because there's nothing better than an electrical tractor that will break down over the time. It means more money for us. Okay, 
that was cool. Was that like was that an automatic hitching system or something? That's cool. Our tractors don't have that over here in America. I mean, this is obviously not in America. I hope they don't bring this crap to America because we don't need this crap. Nobody's gonna buy it anyways. Sometimes you just need some with some good old diesel fuel, okay? What 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 are, what are these French people thinking? that freaking battery that's freaking huge and just imagine one of those cells blow knowing John Deere probably costs like two thousand dollars just to replace one of those freaking things and why is there a cooler on it like well then again that's probably for the hydraulics I mean if this thing even has room to have hydraulics in it probably doesn't even have them probably doesn't even have a PTO I don't know uh, what the heck that is a massive freaking battery Is that how all farmers in England dress? <laughs> That's got to really suck for them. They're messing up those really nice clothes. I mean, like, here in America, like, you got to be rich just to wear something like that on a daily basis. Okay, I've got to my fancy clothes. I check the battery. Let's get in the tractor. Is, is that an air ride suspension? It's hard to tell, but I think it is. I mean, I don't know if it actually has one because of all the freaking French text at the bottom, but holy crap, I think it is. We don't have that either. <laughs> oh, look, look, look at this. They've painted the side, but look, there's also actual holes in the vent. You can see the battery through it. What, what if you're on the tractor and it rains? The water's going to get in there and short out the battery. That, that's stupid. That's just freaking stupid. Okay, let's turn on the air conditioner. Okay, wait a minute. Why? What? Why do? You, why do you have to turn the key all the way to turn it on like a diesel? Like, can't there just be a simple on-off switch? But then again, if, if you're a farmer and you know anything about John Deere, they gotta make everything confusing. It sounds like utter crap. May I point out? Okay, let's fill up the silage pump. We'll hook the paper. Is that the PTO? Was that was that the was that a button on the side for the PTO? What was that? What the heck? This thing's got all kinds of stuff. I mean, look, just from here, it's got these crazy airfoil things, whatever, on the front. The radar system, freaking air ride suspension, the giant green box nobody knows about. The vents where the rain's gonna go in and kill your battery. Jesus Christ, these people don't know what they're doing. Okay, we're going pretty fast in this tractor with a range of 34 miles. Okay, so apparently the new uh, electric John Deere is gonna be running Windows 7. That, that's cool, I guess. going down the field now just pooling things around in my giant mysterious track is that the charger yo yo that is an awfully thin charging cable for a tractor that freaking big and look look, look, look at this look how little the plug is how, how can you charge a battery that big with a cable and a plug that small I mean if they really put that into practice that freaking cable is gonna melt within like probably a week if not within an hour. These people are idiots. Oh look at this. My child made a sketch of the farm with the combine and the V8 motor and the tractor and the gator and the church and the wind turbine and the cow and the pig. That's really cool. We can add that to the video. Yes, we are working in Cade. We are making the tractor. Just working as usual.
Let's take off, guys. I see a whoa. Check out that sprayer. <laughs> I don't even think they make that here in America. That's cool though. I like the sprayer part. I don't like anything else about it. Okay, so what's my final thoughts on the John Deere C Sam? I think that is freaking stupid. There's, I mean, I don't know how it is in Europe. I mean, your fields are probably smaller or something. But if you're here in America and you even want to make this thing take off, first of all, people around here are not going to be into an electric tractor. I mean, it's bad enough with the new John Deere's around here. You got to put the diesel fuel in it, and then you got to put diesel exhaust fluid in it, which is basically just water mixed with some chemical. It's apparently due for some emissions thing. Like, John Deere is just really freaking big into emissions these days and oh god I just lord lord have mercy on us uh, and people around here in America are especially not going to like because a range of 34 miles okay here in America our fields are huge like I think my dad's been a farmer for he's a fourth generation farmer and our biggest field is what I want to say 500 acres. So if you're moving from field to field to field like that all day, you're not going to last crap. And what if the battery runs out while you're moving the tractor in a field or on the road or something? You're screwed. So really, if they even want to make this work here in America, which they're probably going to try to, they're going to make the, have to make the range last a lot longer. But then again, as we can see by this video, this is just a concept right now. It's in its baby stages of development. Uh, maybe one day it'll take off and maybe it'll be really good. I don't know. I might be, you know, I just might be doubting it and it's going to be really good. But, uh, as for now, it, as for now, it's just terrible, okay? But, uh, I think that if John Deere makes a lot of improvements to it, it could take off. But they're going to have to make a lot of improvements. So thank you guys for watching my video. You know, like, comment, favorite, share, subscribe, you know, do whatever you want to do. I mean, it's my channel. I don't care. Just, just made me take off. <sighs> I need that money. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. I will see you later. On my electric tractor. <laughs>